A cage of cold metal with hot rubber at the corners. A chariot of thundering fury. The difference between you and your rivals isn't just the war paint traded in battle. It's more. Refuse to lose. All right. I mean, like, that's a cool open, I guess. Welcome on in. It is NASCAR Heat 5. I'm Alan Bailey. Yes, the gold edition dropping today. Here we are. Ooh, new music. Ooh. All right. So here we are. Uh, no, we're not doing a full career. We just did NASCAR Heat 4 career from the dirt. Now we're in Xfinity, and that, that series is going to come back at some point. But for now, I was actually given a brilliant idea by one of you guys. Um, what we're going to do is not a full career, but we're going to go ahead and... I don't want to say skip the trucks, but we're going to skip the trucks. And we're going to go ahead and start in Xfinity because we want to get up to that Cup Series pretty quick. But I don't want to mess around in trucks. I just ran a truck season. I'm in the middle of an Xfinity season in NASCAR Heat 4 career mode. So we're starting in Xfinity. However, there's going to be a little twist to this that makes it very cool. Well, I mean, I hope not. Hello, Warren is back, because why wouldn't Warren be back? I want to see how much we can go ahead and do here. So here's uh, the idea that was suggested to me, actually, by um, uh, RJO, actually. Since we have just done a playthrough uh, of NASCAR Heat 4's career mode, um, what we're doing is going to go ahead and skip over the truck series, and what we're going to do is participate in the Dirt Series. We're going to duel the Dirt and Xfinity for our first season. So here we are. We've got the number 41 Ford for Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, and we also have the uh, number 12 Dirt Car for Smoke Racing. Which, why wouldn't you call it Stuart Haas at that point? But that's fine, 704. I get you. You do you. Let's go ahead and start this season. Warren, I've already set everything up, buddy. You can see my number 12 dirt car right behind you. That's a good looking dirt car, man. I'm just saying, we're good here. Thanks, Warren. Appreciate it. <laughs> and you can see our number 41 uh, Ford back there, Hunts Brothers Pizza. Um, unfortunately, it is not as detailed as I would like it. The game, for whatever reason, and I don't know why, doesn't allow you to change your paint scheme option um, when it comes to actual career mode. In When you're creating your own custom car, you're able to change it as much as you want, but you could see our options there. And uh, day one glitch that is supposed to be fixed, but uh, the patch hasn't come through yet, and that's the rim color. You see it yellow right there. Um, originally, I had not picked yellow, so... Yeah, that's just a patch that'll get fixed down the road. Uh, this is launch day, so everything's a little crazy. They had a lot of issues with the uh, Gold Edition actually being on PlayStation's uh, store. Xbox, I had a number of issues, and turns out it was my Dodo Bird, but because I put in the wrong code that was given to me from my store as opposed to the code that was in the box. I'm that Dodo. And something I just kind of realized, yes, we know all this. Let's go. And yeah, I know I've got a boatload of money, but you know, I still want more. We want to get, we want to start our own, um, our own cup program with some oomph behind us. And I just had a thought process. I'm going to see if I can change this real quick or if it's too late because we've started the season, but... I would love to be able to change. Yep, and we can. A car number that I know is available that is very Stuart Haas E is that double zero. So we're going to run that double zero, kind of a Cole Custard replacement ride, I guess, if that's how you want to look at it. Double zero. And we'll do, actually, we'll do exactly what we did in um, our other career or our other dirt car. 
will go white letter or black lettering with white uh, outline. That's actually pretty cool looking. I dig that. And you can see there my rim color is non-existent. It's black, but when we actually get to Daytona, you're gonna see some neon rims coming at you. So I dig this. I like it. Let's go. And yes, we're rocking that matte car here. And even the double zero right there on us. This is cool, man. I'm digging this so far. So here we go, kicking off our NASCAR Heat 5 career. We are here in our Stuart Haas Racing number double zero. It says season one, week two. I don't know why it says that. We're in week one. Oh, because of the shootout. Yeah, actually, that makes sense. So here we are, <laughs> Stuart Haas Racing custom double zero car teammate to Chase Briscoe. Uh, per our tradition with Daytona and Talladega, no practice, no qualifying, starting in the back. Let's go. Daytona, man. I love this track. I mean, like, I love hate it. I think everybody loves hates it, but you know, it's all good, man. It's all good. I'm curious to see where our teammate is. It's a four car, or it's a five car team, rather, so it should be pretty good. And there we go, yellow rims. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know. Oh, our spawner is very quiet. No, I don't like that. I can barely hear the spawner. We will have to fix that. Is that Tony? I can't even tell. It sounds like Jeff to me, but it's so faint I can barely understand him, so... We'll adjust that uh, after this race. Unfortunately, we can't do it now. Okay, so the car, so far, needs the draft, loves the draft, wants to work with the draft. Doesn't really work on the bottom that good. Well, as I say that, I get a good run on the bottom, so... I don't know, man, maybe we're gonna get, maybe we're gonna go somewhere here. And again, no out of bounds in this game. In real life, that's a super duper duper black flag uh, for driving below that double yellow line, but... Here in NASCAR Heat 5, that is not an issue. And we've got strict yellows on right now. We've got rivals turned on. I understand why people would want to turn that off, but if you want to go for hyper-realisticness, um, your actions have consequences. And if you are driving like a jerk and you get into a guy one week, he's going to remember next week and drive you a little you know, rougher, maybe wreck you. And if you don't want to be wrecked next week, maybe you shouldn't drive like a jerk. That's my thought process. With that being said, I have driven like a jerk many, 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 many a times. So far, I know we're only three laps into our, our racing career here in NASCAR Heat 5, but I gotta say, I'm digging it so far. I'm really digging it so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I, Honestly, like, and I'm talking about the difference between Heat 4 and Heat 5. Um, I am enjoying this one better. It's not night and day difference, but it is subtle differences. Um, and that's, you know, what helped to make a game better. Whoa! Don't know what just happened. Don't know what just happened. Don't know, okay. Yeah, my Xbox just had a seizure. <laughs> Who won the stage? Um, all right, well, since we're back here, we'll go ahead and we'll pit, I guess. Question mark. Not sure what just happened. Yeah, we'll go ahead, we'll fill her up, and we will stick a whole bunch of tape on it and loosen it up just a touch. We're the only ones who pitted, because the Xbox glitched on us and went straight. Car went straight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get through those gears. Chastain in the back. That is very odd. I don't recall him being in the back uh, in Daytona earlier this season, but then again, 
Daytona earlier this season feels like it was a lifetime ago, so... Whoa, I'm gonna do this, I might regret it. I feel like we got those four freshies, so we're a little super manny. That's what it kind of feels like a little bit. But that might allow us to take two in the next stop, which will uh, set us up for a good final stage, I believe. I believe, I believe. I feel like the sound effects got better, man. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go on this inside. Get it, get it. Woo, squirrely right there. Hang on to her. Bumpy de bump, 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 bump through the turns. I know it's not the most stable, but it is fast. Brown, I was gonna push you, but you're you're not pulling out there, buddy. Gotta find my teammate. I haven't found him yet, and that's probably a great thing. Hopefully he's in the top five. Clemens trying to get something done here on the bottom. Come on, come on, come on. See, they just accordion up, and then they just hit a wall, and they they lose the speed. So you get the run, you got to put it somewhere, and you're putting it under Harmon here. Hemrick. In the A car. Ooh, boy. Not sure if Hemrick's in the car full-time in the game. I believe he is, but we will find out as the season progresses. Um, Hemrick running only a part-time schedule in that A car in real life. Um, so interesting to see how, how the game treats him and treats that A car. If it's a different driver every week or if it's Hemrick every week with the same paint scheme. I think it's the latter, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We will find out next week. All right. Not great, not bad. Didn't even realize that was the checker. Thought we had another lap. But then again, I can't hear my spotter, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and we will pit. We do not need that much fuel. We will take rights only. Uh, no damage to repair. Loosen it up a tick more. Let's go. All right, gained two whole spots. All right. Ooh, we didn't go. Well, I don't know what happened there. I was on it, but... Yeah, not sure what that was, but we didn't go. No oh boy. Whoa, whoa, almost got hooked right there. That's not cool. As you see Harmon and the rest of the field taken off. And man, we're in trouble here. I don't know what's going on, but we just didn't get going. Might have been the old tires. And if it is, that's really cool if it is. If I have to get new tires to get the jump on the restart every time, that makes for an interesting piece of the game. But now we got to run here. We found that speed. Side draft in the 93 here a little bit. No, okay. Oh man, okay. No one coming up to help us. We're too wide through this turn here. Ooh. The game feels a lot more racier, um, and it does not have that same feel as, as Heat 4 uh, in the draft. And it's not, I'm not saying it's worse, um, it's its tougher, you know, it's its more intense. Come on, come on, come on, nope, okay. We gotta line up to try to catch these guys, they are almost a second ahead of us. So, come on 44. Let's single out here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. No, wh where are you going? Where are you going? That's not the fast way around. It's down there, buddy. Come on. I gotta push you because we gotta catch him. 
Coopetition at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there, 44. Let's go. Let's go, Tommy Joe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that draft, get that draft. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Alright, so we've caught the rest of the field. See ya. I used you and I dumped you. Sorry. Oh! Behind us something happened. Ay, yeah, yeah. And just as we caught the field. Um, we can make it on fuel. We will not pit advance. Yeah, didn't lose any, didn't gain any. Everything kind of shuffled behind us a little bit, but... Let's see if we get a better start here. Um, feels like we did. Yeah, it really feels like we did. Ooh, boy. Come on, come on. There we go. Is that my teammate right there? That's my teammate. Kind of, sort of, right in front of me. Hanging out in 18th, 19th, Frisco. Alrighty. Oh man, we just, that's a wall of cars right there. Chase, I want to push you, but you're trapped and mired on the high side, and that's not a fast way around here. Cars definitely tight in traffic, so... We're battling that. Right now we've got we're we we got this dog pile of cars right here, man. I feel like we're in a junkyard. Or we're about to be. White flag already, oh boy, man. Time flies. We're not even in the top ten yet. Oh boy. Come on, Burton, come on, Burton. Oh man, that just killed us. That killed our momentum. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I at least want a top 20. Come on. Come on. Come on. Four wide. Coming to the line. We're going to get 18th? All right. That was cool. Wish we were in the top 10. Wish it would have been a win, but you know, you can't always get what you want. So you see, we finished uh, 18th, our teammate finished 17th, so I feel well it wasn't me making bad choices. At least I compared up to the teammate right there. L Jesse Little in the four car, getting the victory in Daytona. Pretty sure first victory right there. Brandon Jones, uh, second. You got Riley Herbst, third. Austin Sindrick, fourth. And Alex uh, coming home fifth right there. There's the rest of your top ten. And as you can see, we are 18th in the point standings. So we got some work to do, boys and girls. So we were on Gordon with our uh, spotter. So we're changing it over to Stewart just to see how it goes. And we're cranking that spotter volume just so that we can actually hear him. <laughs> It's a little nerve-wracking, man. You got your team owner as your spotter, and that's 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 not reassuring. <laughs> but uh, Daytona is done. It's in the books. Now we're heading to my second home track, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, for the ga Boyd Gaming 300. Change that double zero font color uh, to white because I realized uh, you can't really see the double zero with the black with the matte. So. Change it to white so that we can actually see it now, and you can. So, without further ado, race two. Let's go. Qualified 17th, and uh, actually did get a chance to uh, tweak the audio settings a little bit, but need to tweak them just a tiny bit more because we can still barely hear, hear uh, Tony Stewart. It was Jeff Gordon before, and the neon rims are back. <laughs> Still dealing with them. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Be ready. Ready. Tony Stewart not giving me the go, buddy. Come on. No go, go, go. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Yeah, you can kind of sort of hear him right there. He's a little faint. I'm working. I'll work on that for the next video. Got a car 
Oh, um, so we will we will fix that for the next video for sure. But we're right here inside the top. Well, 20 Careful, now. Now, I love Vegas. I talk about it every time we race at Vegas. I think it's kind of the gold standard for what every racetrack needs to be as far as fan amenities and crew amenities and media amenities. I, I It's the gold standard. Um, people in Vegas know how to, how to treat people and know how to handle crowds. And I don't necessarily think it was it's, it's Vegas people. I just think, well, when they redid it, they had a good amount of money and they thought, well, it's Vegas. Let's go ahead and make hospitality. And they kind of mimicked Vegas, I guess, for lack of a better term. And when they did that, they accidentally discovered, oh, turns out everything that casinos are good at doing to accommodate people are really good for accommodating race fans and drivers and crew and media as well. Huh. So I, I, you talk to any media member, any driver, they love coming out to Vegas just because it's so accommodating and it's so easy um, as far as, as fan interaction and as far as everything is concerned in the garage area and around the track. It's so cool. With that being said, I'm mired back here in 10th trying to get through this crowd here as we're coming to our closing laps. No, Noah, no. No, Noah, get back here. Trying to get up here. Whoa, we're going three wide. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Keep in mind the difficulty is turned up, so doing our best here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that run, get that run, get that run, get that run. No, gotta get to the line. Gotta beat Noah, gotta beat Noah, gotta beat Noah. Yes. First stage points. First stage points of the career, man. Needed that. Oh, and Chase coming close to winning that one. Um, we will not pit. Advance. A little nervous here because the car is tight, tight, tight. Gotta fix that. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Ready. Ready. Green, green, green. Nice little jump right there. The 22 was sleeping a little bit on that Nobody restart. Five more laps. Allowed us to get this bottom lane into turn one. Try to get it to work for us. Oh, it worked for us. Ooh, sorry, Justin. Don't mean to scrape you there, buddy, but... Whoa, whoa. Oh, three wide. Okay. Tony, wake up, buddy. Yeah, we are Ooh, Jones getting loosey-goosey. Um, something I'm interested to see is when you get into a driver and get them loose, does it... And Ooh, I didn't mean to do it there. Uh, that just answered my question. Thank you, Noah Gregson. Um, in real life, when you get a driver loose, it, it they lose speed. They scrub speed. Um, in the game, for whatever reason, it, it, they don't they don't lose any speed. Don't know why that is. I think it's just a the, the coding issue or an AI issue. I don't know. Whoa! But the physics seem different. It drives this this game drives a lot different, in my opinion, than Heat Four did. It feels like it's a little bit more grippy, um, a little tighter, less forgiving. You used to, in Heat 4, just be able to more or less just just barrel roll through the turns if that's what you wanted to do, if that's how you want to drive. Um, you used to be able to get away with it, and now you have to very much finesse it, at least it seems like it, uh, here at Vegas anyway. And Vegas is a persnickety racetrack, so it could just be Vegas. It could just be this particular racetrack. Um, but then again, it, it might not. And we are up to fifth, coming to the white flag in this stage two right here. Don't think we're going to catch Gregson for fourth. Yeah, she is tight, and I prefer a looser race car. I feel more in control of a loose race car. I think it's that uh, just, just from racing in dirt. <laughs> um, but it just it feels so darn tight. Oh, I know they're wearing. Where? Oh my goodness! Yeah, we need new tires, badly, badly, badly. But fifth in stage two, not bad. Top five, 
unlock that stage. That'll get the job done, driver. Here we come. And our teammate gets the stage victory. Way to go, Chase. All right, so obviously we're going to go ahead, Pit. I'm going to loosen this Goosey up a little bit. Not too dramatically. Um, we will not get... Well... Ooh, we're not going to be able to make it on fuel from this point on. We will have to pit again. Interesting. So I'll loosen it up a tick more than I might normally actually here. Yeah, right there. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, gained a spot on pit road. Way to go, boys. Getting it done. My teammate right there on the pole. Starter has the green flag in his hand. Be ready. Ready. Inside, inside. Clear yeah, we got to turn you up, Tony. I can barely hear you, buddy. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Three wide for second. Briscoe, go buddy, go buddy, go. Come on, come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. Look ahead for me. Clear outside. Inside. Come on, Chase. I'm gonna give you a shove here, buddy. We're in Carol Shelby's backyard, so you gotta get going here. Noah, where did he come from, man? He's been riding my coattails this whole race, man. I don't like that. But we're kind of settling back here in third. On fuel, we're right on the cusp. Right on the cusp. So I'll put that up. We keep in track of when that changes over to 11. We might be able to play fuel mileage here and, and make it. Ooh. We will be running out right at the line. Left side. Clear all around. So this is going to be an interesting one. It'll come down to fuel, it looks like. Be interesting to see if these cars pit. Uh, good test to see what the AI is. Supposedly the AI has been tweaked from Heat 4 to Heat 5. Um, I'm noticing the, the it seems to be a little bit more aggressive, and I can't tell if that's just me playing on a higher game setting than I was in Heat 4. Maybe it was. I don't remember what the game settings are that I've been running in Heat 4, admittingly. Um, but it feels like the... It's, it's a lot more competitive. And maybe that's a car, maybe that's me. I don't know. But it feels a lot more competitive compared to Heat 4. It feels a little bit more real. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I know everybody's griped and complained about Heat 5. I was doing some of it too because of the, the price point, admittingly. Um, you know, it was purely price point, I think that was my biggest gripe, especially in, in an age of COVID when you have uh, people who are losing their jobs, to get people to pay 80 bucks for a pre-order is, is a lot. Um, but, you know, I got to say, you take that one gripe away, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, I know there's not a whole lot of change between four and five, but I like it. It's a quality of life improvement across the board. Everything seems to be a little bit better. Um, from the last game, from Heat 4, so. With that being said, I'm sitting here talking my head off, fading back to 7th here, man. We were we were second at one point. Come on. We have 8 laps to go here. 7, ooh boy. That's nerve-wracking. That's nerve-wracking. So I'm going to keep this fuel up there because now this becomes a fool. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. Um, yeah, let's pit. Obviously. Go ahead, get a full can. That'll get us in the past the race. Uh, races delay. Um, right sides only. And let's continue to loosen her up just a tad. Let's see what happens. Oh, guys, come on, you failed me. Dang it. Want a top 10. We're going to have to work for it here. Be ready here. Our outside. Hold your line. All clear. Went from fuel mileage race to a race race. So let's get up on the wheel and get some in four laps here, boys and girls. Put this ticker up there so you can see who's around me. On Ken Wreck. At your bumper. Clear high. Clear high. 
That run on the inside. That little goodbye. I think he gave me that one a little bit. Let's go, boys and girls. Come on, I see 10. Jones right there. Come on, come on, come on. Jeffrey Earnhardt in that zero right there. Ooh, car outside. Didn't know he was there. Thanks, Tony. Come on, come on, come on. You got room. You're clear. Let's see if we can get a couple more cars here with one lap to go. You got one to go. Come on, come on, come on. I think my teammate's going to go ahead and get the victory, but we would love to back it up with a good finish here, too. I can get this car for seventh. I got to time it right here. Oh, I didn't. Nope. I screwed up the entry. I way screwed up the entry. Dang it. Well, you know what? Our first top 10 finish at Vegas. Nice job. Don't know if I'm saying that to appease myself or you, but <laughs> I, I'm i talking myself up here. It's like, no, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> you see the results right there. Our teammate Ch Chase Briscoe getting the victory, locking himself into the playoffs. Us coming home eighth, unfortunately, just car went away right there. Bad pit stop at the end. Got back up to eighth after restarting outside the top 10. So not a horrible day. Not a great day though for us. Take on and move on. You get a look at the point standings. We are up to 12th in the point standings right now. Our teammate is fifth in the point standings, but locked into the playoffs. We got a little bit of work to do, but that is our very first video on NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we do have a very cool exclusive coming on Monday. Just a few days away, a new video series coming for NASCAR Heat 5. You do not want to miss that. Trust me. So make sure you mash that subscribe button and oh, by the way, F1 2020 content around the corner as well. So for the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode, I'm Alan Bailey. We will see you at the track.